Hello, it's Friday. It's almost weekend for Iratse, meaning we get four days again to work together uh, on our projects, on our future, and uh, I'm looking forward to that. But I am tired. I am really, really tired. We've been working so hard trying to be ready for the Builderall franchise launch, uh, launching builderallu.com, making videos, recording videos, working on the clients that I currently have for a digital agency. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of work. Building something, building a business, building a brand is a lot of work. And especially because I'm not 100% sure yet uh, what I am or what I want to do or how I want to grow. There's a constant doubt in me, like, am I doing the right thing? Am I going in the right direction? And I think I'm pretty well in control of, of this and, and heading towards where I want to go. But today I was like, you know, the whole digital marketing thing, because let me explain you why I'm saying that. Uh, you have to try before you know. You have to go out there, try it, do it, and then take a step back, reflect, and think to yourself, is this what I want to do? Is this the right thing? Would I go all in and invest my time on that? And clearly no, because Lilita is the thing I want to do. And we've got some really cool ideas for Lilita. I think it can be really, really big. Um, yeah, it's kind of a documentary platform where people can upload their documentaries about awareness. It doesn't have to be veganism, it can be about fast fashion, it can be about anything that contributes towards raising awareness about global problems. And then combining this with a cryptocurrency and allowing uh, non-profit organizations to be part of this. So you can post a documentary, you can donate to the non-profits and then put an influencing type of thing for filmmakers on there and documentary makers, which would directly build a great foundation of, uh, of what Lilita was intended to become. So this is something I'm trying to build, but it will take a lot of time because I need money before I can actually do something like that. So that's why I do all these other things like these agencies and the coachings and the projects around that. And then what makes me the happiest, like what makes me, uh, what's the thing I like the most is helping other people grow. And that's in business, that's in life. So the 3 on 3 method is a book I'm still planning on writing, uh, although now, right now, it doesn't have my priority. So the first thing I help people grow is through Builderall, you and the vegan entrepreneur. A community on Facebook of course it's been very active we almost have 500 members right now which is super cool I'm really stoked about that but starting up it's when I started I'm holding this because I'm getting tired we're walking already for some while um, starting up a company it's uh, falling down a lot trying a lot getting a lot of no's uh, and then eventually getting some yeses and the thing is that I started out with $2,000 and this was way not enough. Like for the past three, four months, uh, financially it has been tough. Uh, I've been going through a lot, of, a lot of ups and downs and now is the moment that things are turning around. So that's really, really cool. And I also have to think, I also have to think about like, what's gonna be my expertise? Because if you learn digital marketing, for example, if you wanna be a digital marketing expert, this is such a wide field. This is like saying I'm a vegan expert. Yeah, vegan expert is fun and you might be successful in a way, but if you're an expert about food, and especially raw food, or if you're an expert about fast food, or your whatever niche you pick inside of your category will help you become better, bigger. Your message will be clearer. People will follow you for a better reason. And I feel like the thing that I'm excelling at and that I'm the best at is um, content marketing. So creating amazing content, creating uh, articles, understanding my consumer, and then creating the things that they want to do and, and deal with that. If you're a normal brand and you don't do anything like that yet, uh, you're basically fucked. You're gonna... Let's go, Lil. That's gonna keep on moving. But you're gonna, you're gonna lose out if you're not doing any content marketing yet. And I see a lot of brands, I've been meeting up with uh, an association, a non-profit organization, and they don't do much that yet. Like they try to get money from people through their non-profit, but people don't give money like that anymore. That's also why with Lilita, the whole documentary platform or the idea, it's about giving some value to the users, to the consumers, and then in return, the non-profits can actually earn a way, can earn a way to actually make a living. 
So no matter what brand you are, even, even the moving truck here in the back uh, of my camera right now, uh, even if you're a moving truck company, you have to bring value to your consumers. You have to show people, uh, you have to make content for them, not for, for selling your product. Uh, and, and, and that's really hard, that's a really big switch because the return of investment, the way like, am I investing my time? Right now these vlogs, for example, these vlogs, I already made a lot of vlogs. It's been a year now and I'm gonna make a one year on YouTube or one year on social media uh, video. But these, these vlogs, they don't give me any return of investment. They cost me a lot of time to edit and uh, it's, not, it's not measurable. But it builds up a foundation, it creates awareness. By the time that it becomes relevant and by the time the subscriber base does increase, then there's already so much content that you can look back on and that's been built upon the foundation and people can share it and, and, and it builds up your credibility. If you talk about helping people grow their social media channels, you have to go through the same process. You cannot coach somebody or teach somebody. Why do I feel confident about personal branding or branding in general or content marketing? It's what I've been doing since I'm 17. When I was a kite surfer, all we did in order to keep our sponsors, to attract sponsors, we were making movies, we were doing content marketing, we were doing interviews, we were creating, uh, or we, I was creating articles for magazines that landed me on the cover. I created awareness around me that landed me in Nescafe TV commercial. It's all these things and it's not directly measurable. And that's why I think a lot of nonprofits, a lot of brands have a really hard time uh, yeah, to, to start with that. Because going out one day, asking, Lily, come. My dog's pulling me. I'm gonna release her. Wait, Lil, sit, sit, sit. Good job. There we go. <laughs> okay, so all these brands, if they have a choice to go out today, get donations, and earn 10,000 euro or a thousand euro. I don't know the the numbers of every association, but let's say you can get a thousand euro today by asking for donations. Or you can invest your time to build a brand, create awareness, build a community, invest in your donators and, and create really valuable content. Well, this is not paying you today. And that's the problem often with content marketing. It's a long-term strategy, but I'm 100% sure if you don't go all in on your content marketing and you don't provide value to your consumers, you're gonna lose your business if not tomorrow, then next week, and if not next week, next year, because other people will take over that bring more value. In the end, it's all about bringing enough value. And if they can get the value somewhere else, they will take it, they will take it. The, the hardest thing to get from your consumer, the hardest thing to get from anyone is their time, is their attention. That's why my uh, content marketing agency is called The Attention Store. And I don't know exactly how I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna work on the website pretty soon and then start selling this as a consultancy service because uh, I feel like that's the best service I can bring to somebody and if I become even better at it, a bigger expert, more experience, uh, I think that's what's gonna make me the happiest today. So that's a little thought of today in the vlog. Uh, working hard on Build Roll U, so if you watch this and you don't know what's Build Roll U yet, check out builderallyou.com and uh, it's a complete marketing suite uh, for, your, uh, for your marketing to reach consumers, to build an email list, everything you need for a dollar a day. That's kind of the, the whole ID. Uh, and then Builder All You is the Builder All University, is how you can use that suite, because I didn't make that suite, it's not my suite. It's how you can use it, it's what you can, um, uh, it's the strategies you can apply, but also it will be about content marketing. How can you create awareness around your brand and all these things? Uh, and I think that's gonna be amazing. That's gonna be really, really cool. Anyway, catch you later. This is the vlog of today. Uh, I've been vlogging a little bit less, so you're gonna see them a little bit less frequent, but whenever there's something really nice or interesting, I'll update you. And if you watch this, I would really appreciate it if you leave a comment because, uh, so far, the channel is relatively new. 
I only got a few subscribers and uh, I would like to see who are my subscribers. So see you guys later in the next vlog and I'm gonna try to look for my dog because uh, I don't know where she is. Bye bye.